Today's video. Today we are finally test this bad guy that came today. A universal button bracket tool. And the right opportunity to test this tool is my long planned token ninja bottom bracket customization I've been using a token ninja bottom bracket for about four months and uh, it has worked flawlessly um, token ninja um, if you don't know uh, is a press fit bottom bracket with threaded sleeves and so you don't have to press uh, with a special tool uh, the bottom bracket inside the frame but mm, it's threaded so uh, the two caps are threaded together and they, um, they press uh, each other into the frame uh, until they touch the frame so um, installation wise it's uh, in my opinion it's uh, a pretty good solution and in my case, uh, uh, for four months, I never uh, experienced a creak or a, uh, undesirable noise. So in my in my case, it has worked perfect. The crankset spins really, really well. So no complaints at all. Um, so if it works so well, why um, I need to do a customization? Being a huge Hambini fan. Um, I learned two or three things that made me start thinking about this customization. This bottom bracket uh, uses, uh, um, I think, premium bearings in the size of 37 for 24 for 7. And uh, that's not a standard size. The standard size for this uh, specific bearing is 37 or 25 or 7. Uh, what does this mean? Um, it means that the Shimano bottom bracket that has a 24 mm spindle uh, spins directly um, touching the, uh, the internal part of, of the bearing. Is it a problem? Uh, well, yes and no. Mm, the Bearings normally are made by a stronger material, a stronger metal uh, than the crankset spindle. So uh, it means that the crank uh, in the long period will wear um, way, way quicker than the bearing. Of course, changing the crankset is way more expensive than change uh, a pair of bearings. So uh, this uh, long period wear it's not convenient at all and second thing uh, there are better bearings than premium so what does this project consist of uh, well uh, inspired by the ambini bottom bracket um, i ordered um, some daring delrin top cap uh, on aliexpress and uh, some genuine antn bearings 6805 the idea is to swap the original bearings uh, for the new NTN and um, considering that the old one are 24 mm internally and the new one is 25 mm internally uh, there is a space with uh, to put inside the bearing a daring top cap so um, the idea was to let the crank spins inside touching the del ring and not directly um, the spindle. As you can see here, you can clearly see 
where the spindle spins inside the bearings. First step is take away the old bearings. Let's try the new bottom bracket tool. the screw on the other side and let's start to to run First bearing off. It is a Takino bearing. Let's take off the other one now. Both bearings are out. Pretty nice bearing, uh, nothing to complain by these Takino bearings. But let's try something new. Clean with some alcohol. So, as you can see here, the original Token Ninja has the bearing and this top top sealant. So the idea this project to take the new anti end and put this gathering sleeve right here so theoretically we have the same space that this top cap as in the original token ninja but the advantage of having a plastic internally where the spindle spins so this way we can use a standard size bearing 
plus plastic protection for the spindle so double win let's put some grease Okay, the ENTN bearings are installed correctly, no problem at all, so the bottom bracket tool is a big success. Now let's put inside the two daring sleeves or top cap. Okay, so we have a little problem here, uh, these daring sleeves, when you push completely inside the bearing that's the um, bottom bracket uh, our metal area here so we need to sand a little bit the external part here to let the dirt enter completely inside the, the metal sleeve Okay, so I sanded a little bit the outer part of the Darren's leaf and maybe it was a tolerance problem, it was just a 0 0.1, 0, 0 0.1 millimeter to sand, so it was a quick, uh, a quick thing to do. And now, as you can see, you can press the Darren's leaf inside and it's been perfectly so here we have it's like a token ninja shimano hybrid bottom bracket so let's do the other one and i think the project is done let's put the second one Perfect. Here's a final step that put some grease the contact the contact point of the sleeve. Okay. Perfect. Big success. Night. Let's try to reinstall the crank set and uh, let's do a, a spin test. Pretty nice. Do in every one. Spin. It spins really, really free. Better than the already good. Token Ninja original one, so it's another one. It 
success. Okay, so the, this project ended up uh, really, really well. The, the new toolkit uh, did its job, no problem. Uh, no problem for the uh, bearing uh, swap and um, also my idea for the during the uh, top cap uh, um, end up uh, well so big success now we have a token ninja with the advantage of having the threaded sleeves um, and the end bearings inside so top of the line bearings and the uh, daring protection for the crank set so triple win <laughs> um, Finally, I have to thank, um, of course, Ambini for um, his amazing channel about um, frame problems and uh, bearings information. Um, of course, uh, also for the service that he is doing, the cycling uh, slash mechanic community uh, for um, his big brand frames, analysis, uh, analysis. <laughs> and uh, another person uh, that I have to thank is uh, Red of Japan. If you don't know this guy, uh, I leave the link in the description. He has an amazing channel about uh, weight saving and uh, mechanics, tools uh, and uh, he has done something similar to his Token Ninja bottom bracket some months ago. Um, I had already discussed with him on Instagram about my, uh, my idea for my bottom bracket. Uh, but he did a video um, some months ago. Uh, I didn't copy him. Uh, I had already my idea i did something different than him because he has a different bottom bracket uh, anyway check his channel is amazing big quality and big advice uh, for us um, domestic mechanic <laughs> so that's all for this video um, if you want to subscribe subscribe if you want to like this video if you want to comment please do it and uh, see you the next time